Platonism, the philosophy of celestial blueprints. Forget the messy, ever-changing world you see around you. True reality lies in those perfect eternal forms up in the clouds. Its name comes from Plato, an ancient Greek philosopher who was taught by Socrates and who himself taught Aristotle. He founded the Academy in Athens, where Aristotle studied before kicking of his own startup. Aristotle rolled his eyes and preferred studying this world, calling Plato's forms just fancy words. It's philosophy for those who love the abstract and crave a touch of the divine. Imagine justice, beauty, the ideal chair. Those are the real VIPs of the universe. This world is just a blurry copy. Nietzsche found Plato's ideas to be intellectually immature and based on fantasy. Think of it like the OG philosophy for people fascinated by the invisible rules of the universe. Platonists were convinced they aren't just doodles in the dirt, but blueprints for reality itself, existing all pristine and fancy in their own realm, kind of like a cosmic design studio. Platonism comes in several flavors too. Into the idea of the ultimate good, that's your ticket to understanding Plato's Republic, a whole blueprint for an ideal society based on those fancy forms. Classical Platonists, especially those influenced by Socrates, were all about escaping the messy world for that realm of flawless forms. This was their weapon against ignorance, a way to find the true knowledge that leads to a good, just life. Modern figures contributing to the development of Platonism include names like Gottlob Frege, Bertrand Russell, and Kurt Gödel. You'll find echoes of Platonism all over the place, from religious thought to theories about the mind. Ready to ditch this jumbled reality? Give Platonism a spin. That's Platonism in a nutshell. If you dig this kind of philosophical breakdown, drop a like and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out.